Hey, good morning everyone. My name is Kim Ainari. This is Paradigm Theories. How is everyone doing today? Um, I'm on Pacific Coast Standard Time. We have people from all over the world that watch my videos and I have some new subscribers and I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Um, thought I would hop on quickly and um, discuss some things about my previous videos. Um, I also want to thank each and every one of you who have reached out to me on my Gmail, on my email, and it's some really interesting um, um, comments and things <laughs> in my uh, email box, so thank you again. Um, I had suggested if there's anything that you want to discuss or talk about, um, maybe in the very, very near future, I will be going live. So, um, you guys just let me know what you like. Um, so I wanted to touch briefly on, um, the Moscow murders of the four University of Idaho students. Um, we know that Brian Koberger, um, he is... He has to prove his innocence, though so there's a lot of things in there that I feel um, it's going to be hard for him to plead not guilty, but you never know. Um, I kind of wanted to touch briefly um, some things that people have brought up about my second video. Um, I just also want to briefly touch upon psychics and how um, there are some amazing psychics out there. I don't know if they're 100% accurate. It's really hard to be 100% accurate on everything. Um, I think you like anything um, that people that are pouring in money um, to these psychics. And so many of them came on board, including myself, about these murders. And were naming people and all this other stuff. And I think one psychic is being sued. And so I just think that... Um, you have to be responsible with anything and that I want to be responsible and honest with you guys. Um, I love tarot card reading. I do teach it. Um, and I do feel that we all have, are capable of having this intuitive side, um, your third eye open. And like I've said before in my videos, it just depends upon how much you, um, train your third eye and really go into a deep meditation and can really follow what the consciousness of it is trying to tell you how to proceed in your life. And so um, some things were pointed out. So the second video um, that I put on about the Idaho students that were murdered, I had went into a psychic deep vision of just talking to you guys and what came out. There was a few things that struck me when I went back and watched it. I did mention that he that he or she was either 30 years of age or very close to being 30. And we know that Brian just turned, I think, 28. He will be 29 this year. This is the guy that murdered those students. Um, I kept seeing a beard on him, and I don't know. He seems like he's, he's a person that likes to be clean-shaven. So I don't know where that came from. I don't know if at one point he had a beard, but I did say that he had dark hair. I did say that he was driving a white older vehicle, and that was true. Um, I felt like he wasn't making a lot of money, that he was mooching off of people. I still believe that. He was probably mooching off his parents, um, and I don't think he had a lot of money. I'm just saying. Um, so um, that was also in this second video. I was describing what I felt this person, who this person was that did this. Um, I kept picking up the state of Indiana. Now, which is really interesting to me that someone had pointed out, I kept coming through. I said, I can't, I don't know if he has family that lives there or if he is wearing some kind of t-shirt or a baseball cap with the words, um, Indiana, but the Indiana came true. The Indiana was where he was stopped twice. Um, in Indiana on his way to Pennsylvania. So sometimes your third eye, I just want to let you guys know that we all have it within us, our intuitive side. 
and that sometimes it can be 100% spot on. Sometimes you're seeing things in the future and or maybe you're experiencing things that will happen in the next couple of days. So um, I'm just really happy again that um, I feel that this guy is guilty. I do feel he wanted to, that he was a type of guy that was just wanting to commit the most atrocious murder in history, and he did. And I feel that he doesn't really care if he's found guilty or if he's gonna be executed because he is named, this is the ego side of him, will go down in the history books and the criminology studies about this guy. So um, just know he's a narcissist and that's how narcissists think, you know, and just remember that. he It doesn't matter which way it goes for him in this court when it eventually ends. And um, he doesn't even care if he's going to be, you know, sent to prison for decades. But I think Idaho is different and they'll probably want this guy executed. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys, I'm getting off and um, I'm going to come back on and talk about some other things. All right, bye.